It's a disgrace. You need to sort it out immediately. Hello fellow CNC nuts and welcome. Now what is it you're on about? Your description could pretty much apply to anything in this workshop. I'm talking about the hangy downy bit. That limp hose swinging about the workshop, suspended by its little string. He's talking about the dust collection hose. Yes, uh, it could do with a bit of an upgrade. I had a subscriber recently contact me with a simple suggestion on how to improve it. So today, I'm going to have a look at that. Now I should point out that I personally don't have a problem with using rope to hang this here from. The problem is though that the rope does not restrict the bending radius of this hose and it really doesn't like being bent this much here like this here. Both for the sake of the hose itself and also it restricts airflow. I'd be better off with a nice bent radius like this. Now the suggestion I got was to use a piece of pipe put the rope through the pipe which is going to take the weight off the actual hose itself now the hose just rests on here and this of course just restricts the bending radius personally I'd like a slightly bigger radius than what this pipe here can provide and this is a CNC machining channel so I think we can probably do a little bit better what do you reckon Chip? just get on with it fair enough now for this project I'm using some 12mm MDF and I'm using a 3mm upcutting spiral bit because I'll be drilling holes in this material. Now I'm going to be using UC CNC and I'm trying the, the new macro for UC CNC for the Auto Tool Zero with material thickness offset. This one here requires the touch plate to be touched to the cutter before the probing routine will start. A big thank you to John Revel for his help in sorting this out. And this brings the UC CNC version of the probing routine in line with Mac 3. Now you might find this really interesting. Where you've got these marks here that look like it's cut into the surface of the vacuum table, it's not. This is actually newsprint. I can actually read backwards uh, numbers on here that's come off the newsprint. And here's the red bit that was actually uh, on the newspaper itself as well. It's the printer's ink. Uh, just here there's a slight touch every now and then. I never actually label, uh, leveled this here after I built it, so it's not surprising it's not perfectly level. Now along here, where we see these bits here that didn't cut, uh, I was wondering what was going on here, but I figured it out. This is actually where the cutter, because I was using a downward cutting bit, actually pressed the MDF into these holes, or it was vacuumed down into these holes. So um, as it got closer to the end, the vacuum pulled into these holes and of course the cutter went past without cutting it. Got the first one assembled, it's gone together really well and I've got all the parts here to make the second one. It goes together really easy. We start with this piece here which we're going to hang it from and I've been over it with a round over and rounded over these edges here as well. So they're just going to go into there and they're a nice fit. Uh, likewise these pieces here go into these slots here on the board. like so 
and now we have this piece here and I put these V's in it so it can be curved and that just slides around inside this groove that I've put in the board like so and there's a little bit of extra gap at each end here to allow for expansion or at least that's my story and I'm going to stick to it right so next all I have to do is get this piece on top which is by far the hardest part of the assembly process because everything's just got to fit together right goes in there there we have it there and I've already got this pre-drilled screw holes there so these screws just go in like so now while the hose will go in when it's fully assembled it makes it easier if you don't put the second set of screws in and just pull it apart so slightly there and that'll just allow the hose to go through that bit easier and once it's in place put your screws in right let's get this hung okay well here it is installed I've got my two uh, carriers there that I made and they're both suspended on ropes and at first glance it does look pretty ugly it looks the same on second glance as well the one over here drops down to the dust shoe and I have got full movement around the table and with that movement it keeps that nice curve on the hose so it doesn't kink like it was before so that should improve things uh, from what they were before now I do have a rope over here and that's just simply to take the belly out of the uh, hose as it moves over to the second carrier uh, what I probably need to do is make a third one put this one up here and fix it to the rafters as they go across because um, there's no need for that to move the same goes for the one over here the one above the dust collector again that's not going to move at all and uh, so there's no reason that why it needs to be suspended on a rope now if I can get up that little bit higher then all the better I'm thinking this one up here perhaps uh, wouldn't hurt if it was on a rail and maybe moving backwards and forwards might make it that little bit better as well so there's a few things for me to think about maybe it would have been better if I'd done a little bit of research before I started this project but eh, what are you going to do well there we have it the finished project and if nothing else I at least no longer have that hose uh, in shot hanging from a piece of string speaking of which um, what do you reckon well it's better than nothing well that's a lot of help thank you if anybody's got any suggestions on how I could improve it and I'm sure that there are plenty of suggestions people could make on how I can improve it uh, why not make a comment in the comment section below I look forward to reading them in the meantime thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe check out my website uh, www.cncnuts.com cheers I'm talking about your hose it's always swinging about the workshop on its piece of string it's not a piece of string, it's a microphone cable. Oh, all oh, right.